What's happening guys, DDBR89 here, back again with another Bleach Brave Souls summoning test. So, like I always do, I'm going to test some characters, but I'm going to go into a bit more depth about it. So, this summons test is the 13 squad summons lieutenant. So, we've got three characters on here, which is Nanao, Nemu and Yachiru. So with this summons we only have about a week as it starts on the 17th, well started on the 17th to the 23rd. So if you want to get these characters be sure to summons now. So here are their 5 star stats. So that's Nanao, which is her stamina is 745, her attack is 489, defense 287, focus 254 and special ability, well special attack is 487. Uh, great stats, great stats. So we've got Nemu which is stamina 736, uh, attack 468, defense 277, focus 259 and special is 521. Once again great stats for her. And last we have Yachiru with a stamina of 758, attack of 502, defense of 291, focus of 245 and special ability of 467. Once again, great stats, but their six star stats is ridiculous compared to their five star stats. And we're going to have a little look. So once again, Nanao, stamina, seven, six, nine. Then it goes to attack, five, five, eight, defense, two, nine, two, uh, focus, two, eight, seven, and special attack is five, four, eight. So once again, you can see a major, major, major increase in the, from the five star to the six star. She has great attainable skills, but we're going to go to Namu. Special attack 785, attack 509, defense 297, focus 279, and special attack is a nice 593. Once again, a great attainable skill to get to her, but we're going to go on to Yatru, which is our last one, which is stamina 825, attack 602, that is great, defense 295, focus 270, and special attack 502. These are all their 6 star, max capacity, max ability, level 150, 6 star. So we're going to go on to, well, our testing and we're going to start off with Yachiru, okay? So I'm going to go on who I think is going to be the worst to the best. Hopefully it's going to, well, change my mind. And looking at the stats on the graph is ridiculous. That is amazing. Her attack is ridiculous. Well, her overall everything is ridiculous. It looks like it's on point. And I love the... Artwork for her, great, shows the kid, well, good kid vibe she's got, and the child's play, and all the, even the attacks, like rolling through on the scooter, shooting out little bombs and dropping pans, great Japanese um, comedy with those pan drops, but we're going to see what her special attack's like, here we go, yep, this is great for her, great animation, great artwork. I hope this does an amazing amount of attack. Yep, it's already taken. Well, this should finish them. At least two of them. As they're literally on the death row. Let's see what he's saying. I do love the artwork, how it just pops out. It reminds me of um, Ikaku's one where he was punching up the screen and it leaves his fist marks on there and cracks the screen. But let's see it one more time. She managed to defeat the enemies, of course. To be honest, I expected it to be a lot worse than this, but yeah, she's pulled out the bag. Like I said, great artwork, great animation for the special attack. Overall attacks are reasonable as well. It's a shame we can't test her on her six star stats because you know she would have destroyed everything quick time. So we're going to go on to our next one once it loads up. There we go. And we're going to go on to Nanao. I forgot to mention if I'm pronouncing any of these names wrong or incorrectly or not to how you're used to hearing them, I apologise. But we're going to have a little look at her stats and once again the graph is amazing shit. Look at the special and focus and the attack. Fucking hell. That is all. She looks like she's going to be a beast. I should have used her last. But we'll see. Great projectile. So she could be a distant fighter for me if I had a... I might have to go on this summons. I might have to summons her because she looks like she's going to do some business. Go on, finish him. Nice old fire blast. I'm a bit peed off that didn't finish them off, to be honest. But knowing what her max stats could be if, she's, if you six star her, shit's going down. So you can tell the amount of focus because look at the animation for this. So much 
so much graphic and so much design and so much time put into that just for well it suits her character to be honest it's like the toys suited uh, Yachiru and well this suits her to be honest this looks like a proper pencil pusher but yeah great great special attack love it I love the animation for it like I said and it does do a hefty lot of damage if you can get it in the right spot just about finished them in time had to use all three of them ASAP but well we can't complain to be honest so we're gonna go on to our last one and that's Nemu and I hope well I saved her for last minute that she might be the best one I hope she's gonna pull out the out, pull out the bag to be honest but fucking hell her stats are better than none of those to be honest look at her special and focus and the attacks pretty much on point Actually, she might be on par with her, with the, the graph design. She's a melee type, so if you know her from the anime or the manga, she likes to punch and kick a lot, so she'll be great for the stealth squad. See, see, she's already fucked them up. Oh my god. The animation on this is going to be a joke. <laughs> yeah, he punished her. I do like the ability of it, it's a double, well, it's a double whammy, it heals everyone and it paralyzes and slightly attacks the enemy, so it heals your whole team as well as attacks the enemy and paralyzes them. Yep, I was glad I saved her for the last because she is a beast, if you get her in your team you make sure she's your fucking leader because she is a boss. You don't need a healer because you've got her and she can also attack well as well. But we had to see the animation one last time because it's fucking funny as shit. But yeah, that's it. Guys, that is it for me today. Let me know in the comments below which one of these, if not all of them, would you have in your team. Let me know if you've summoned any of them as well and what you think about their stats and whatnot. But like I said, that's it for me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment for more in the future. But guys, until next time, peace.